guys, so excited about this video today because one of the biggest problems in the salon is not always having natural light. And natural daylight makes the hair just look absolutely beautiful and exactly how you intended it to look on photos. But of course, sometimes natural light is not always available. For example, if you have a salon that just doesn't have very good lighting in it or a lot of windows, or let's say you're finishing up late at night. I mean, I've had tons of nights where I've just spent so much time on this crazy color correction and then it's nighttime and I feel like I can't even get a good representation of the work I just did. And that to me is just extremely frustrating. So I would always resort to using the ring light at night because I had no natural daylight to take amazing photos. And I talked about that in my other video about how to create amazing photos for your social media. You can click on this link if you wanna check it out. But whenever I used the ring light, I just felt like I wasn't completely satisfied with my photos. I was doing everything right. I was practicing all the right techniques. I was using a great camera. I had all the settings dialed down, but I still just wasn't impressed with the photos. And a lot of times I would just end up not posting them because I was so discouraged and being a perfectionist I don't like to post anything unless I'm so proud of it But I may have found an amazing solution to this so keep watching I'm gonna show you this new light that I discovered that actually mimics daylight so well I'm actually using it right now and I am so incredibly impressed and nothing excites me more than good lighting when I'm doing hair. It's an LED light that actually mimics daylight and it comes with a diffusion cloth to make sure that the light doesn't look too bright and overpowering and give you just some crazy like spots and make it look unnatural. So I'm gonna take a little detour right now. I'm actually in the middle of editing this video and I went back to one of my older videos on how to become a color educator while I was filming with daylight and the color started to kind of change because the sun is changing positions. So I had to bump up the ISO and I didn't realize how much it made it just so blown out. So I'm just like so impressed at this side by side. So on the right, I'm using the light and it's a LED panel flex light. So it's actually a flexible light with a bunch of tiny little LED lights on it and it's made by a company called Newer and they have really affordable products but they don't sacrifice the quality and I'm just really impressed with them. I have a few of their products already and full disclaimer they actually sent me this light to try out and I am really really happy I agreed to it and of course this is an honest review so just because they sent it to me doesn't mean I'm going to be dishonest. Just wanted to put that in there. If you wanted to check out this light, you could look at the link below and um, on Amazon, I think it sells for $109. And I have lots more to show you and some demonstrations to show you as well with this light. So back to the video. And I'm so impressed with it. I cannot believe how much light this thing produces. It could fill, you know, an entire room and make it look like there's daylight in there. That is how powerful it is. You can also adjust the brightness. It has a lot of different points of brightness on it. So you're not just limited to just three settings, which sometimes that's just not enough. And also it's incredibly compact. So not only can you completely fill a room and make it look like there's daylight in there, but you can also put it anywhere. So, you know, when I was working in a studio, I would always kind of trip over my ring light all the time because I wanted to always have it set up because the last thing I wanted to do was set up a whole photo shoot at the end of a service when they were just in my chair for hours. So the cool thing about this light is it's really thin, it's flexible, and you could just kind of tape it up to your mirror or tape it up to an area in the salon where you like to take photos. So it doesn't have to take any of your floor space and that is something I love about it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this light, show you all the features and tell you exactly where to get it. It's extremely affordable too. So keep watching and let's check it out. All right, so here is the light. So you have um, a power source that you're gonna plug it into and it is not battery operated. So you do have to make sure that you have an outlet to plug it into at all times. And it's also going to use a remote. So there's no way to kind of manually adjust the brightness when you're not using the remote. You could turn it on and off, but you have to use the remote for that. So right here, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like underneath the diffusion cloth. So you have a bunch of like tiny little LED lights and these are extremely powerful. They are so bright and they don't get hot, which is really great too. If you're working in a small space, you don't want it to get too warm in there. And then as you can see, the diffusion cloth kind of Velcros to the frame and then the LED light also Velcros to the frame as well in the back. 
So I'm just going to take it apart so you can kind of see all the pieces and how it all goes together. And just so you know, the stand is not included. It all it actually just comes with a little handle. So maybe if somebody was like helping you film a video or something like that, they would use the handle. But you're probably going to want to get a stand to go with it. But stands are pretty affordable. And I'll link to one below if you want to grab a stand too. So that's the diffusion cloth. Be very careful with it because it can rip easily. Those are very delicate. So then this, um, the, LI, the LED light panel comes off. And as you can see, it's kind of like flexible. So this is what allows you to be able to just put it anywhere. Like you could literally tape it to a wall if you wanted to or tape it to your mirror. It's pretty awesome. And of course you can manipulate the light as well and kind of direct the direction of the light, which is really, really cool and something you cannot do with a ring light. So you can have a lot more control over where your light source is hitting. And as you can see, the lighting is really bad right here and that's because I was using the light to film the intro and now I'm not using it anymore. So you could really see the difference between the lighting. It's just incredible. So next I'm going to show you how to set up the remote because it was a little bit confusing for me just by reading the directions. So I want to show you just to make sure it's not too complicated for you. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have the light already turned on and then plug it in. Then you're going to press the M button within three seconds of plugging it in. So that's why you want to already have it switched on. Then you're going to um, change the channel until you get to channel one and it starts flashing. Then you're gonna push the button until the light flashes three times. Use the on and off to adjust the brightness. And because this remote is designed to be used with multiple different types of lights, you're not gonna really have a use for the plus and minus sign on the left. You're not gonna control the um, color temperature, it's just uh, 5000 Kelvin, which is natural daylight. Here's the little bag that it comes with. And then here I just wanted to show you the difference between kind of, I didn't really have much light and I had backlight and I was shooting with my ISO at about 1250 and then my shutter speed at about 400. So then I switched over to um, using the light and I had all the same camera settings. And so this is what it looks like with the light. And the light was probably about uh, I would say three feet away from the subject. So as you can see, it looks incredibly clear and very crisp and just very natural lighting. So in this next one, what I did was I turned on my overhead light, which is just a crappy warm light. It's not very pretty at all. But um, so I did that with those camera settings just without the light. And then I did that with the same camera settings with the light. So you could just see how you can add some like warm tones of light in the background and use this natural daylight. And it kind of gives you like a nice combination of warmth in natural daylight. And then I just wanted to do a side by side of with the warm lights in the back and without. Well, I hope you're excited to try this out and actually get amazing photos no matter what time of day it is or what the sun is doing. Let me know in the comments if you have tried this light and how it's working out for you. Make sure to check out my other video as well on how to take amazing photos for Instagram and your social media. And then you can check out any of my other videos for more hairstylist advice. If you love this video, make sure to like it, share it with your friends, hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Lauren and I'll see you next week. So if you're a stylist who's actually serious about committing to perfecting your foliage, baby light, and color melting skills, you're gonna wanna check out the link in the description because I'm actually offering YouTube subscribers only 30% off my Ultra Blended Color Master Course right now. You are gonna learn my signature Ultra Blended Color method that I use on every single client to actually achieve perfectly blended, beautiful, natural looking highlights that don't fade brassy. Plus, I actually walk you through all of the business technique, all of the booking processes, all of the policy, everything you need to know in order to be successful with this technique. You're actually going to be able to have one-on-one -on -one communication and interaction with me, your instructor, which is so rare. And the reason I do this is because I'm actually committed to making sure that you do really well this technique and make lots of money. Click the link below to sign up for your 30% discount in the Ultra Blended Color Master Course and make sure to get in before spots fill up.